Your questions are rolling in. Keep them coming. We are listening here at Fantasy Baseball today, brought to you by Captain Morgan, Lauren Shahadi, Eric Mack, Arrestus Destrati. We are talking hits, all hits, all the time, things love that sort, cylindrical bats, all of that. Yes. <laughs> and for that, we head to Scott White with our hitting planner. If you resisted the urge to cut Juan Pierre earlier this season, give yourself a pat on the back. He's batting 345 with nine stolen bases over his last 13 games. This is the guy who took over during Manny Ramirez's 50-game suspension last season, which makes him a must-start in fantasy. A few other slow starters coming around right now. Troy Gloss batting 400 with three homers over his last 14 games. Russell Brannion has four homers over his last five games. Luke Scott, four over his last seven. And even Lance Berkman, you thought maybe the knee injury was still bothering him. He's batting 400 with two homers over his last seven games. One guy with the Astros who maybe isn't such a good start right now, though, is Michael Bourne, batting just 200 over his last 10 games, and it's not looking good for the Astros going forward this week. They have to go up against Ubaldo Jimenez, David Price, Matt Garza, Jeff Neiman. That's a poor hitting team with poor matchups this week. Maybe you shouldn't buy into Hunter Pence's hot streak just yet. If you're not sold on Carlos Lee, you might want to leave him on your bench for one more week. A team with good matchups this week, though, is the Kansas City Royals going against the Orioles staff, the Indians staff, and the back end of a still injury-plagued Rockies staff. A good time to get all of them active again. One guy in particular who I like is my start of the week, Alberto Callaspo, still unowned in a lot of leagues out there. Hit 300 with 41 doubles as a regular last season, doing all the same things again this season, but with more home run power in his age 27 season. Six home runs already. Kind of makes him a poor man's Dustin Pedroia, which makes him a must-own in fantasy and a must-start, particularly this week. Thanks, Scott. That was Scott White from Fantasy Row. We have been talking about the Astros and how streaky they can yeah. be. We saw it with Lance Berkman. Now we've had, had we've a little had bit. people on Fantasy Baseball Island from we that. We have, yes. absolutely. And we keep talking about how they're going to heat up. And, and can I ask you my question or do you want to ask me a question? Okay. Hunter Pence, I want to talk about him. <laughs> All right, yeah, Lance Berkman heated up last week. Hunter Pence heated up. We said this was going to happen. Hunter Pence is a guy who should be owned and now active in all mixed leagues. Um, the, the problem there with Berkman and Pence, you know, when is Carlos Lee coming back? I think it's going to happen with him as well. We said it's going to happen. Pence is here. He's more aggressive now at the plate. He said early in the year he wanted to be a little more patient at the plate, be a little more passive, and he goes, that's not how I got to the major leagues. I got here with aggression. I'm going to be aggressive at the plate, and it's happened. His homers have picked up. He's hot right now getting multiple hit games. Hunter Pence, aggressive Hunter Pence in your lineup and starting. And you mentioned Carlos Lee, which begins us with our buy-sell segment. Are you buying him or are you selling him? I'm still going to buy him because these Astros okay. are going to come around. Like we said, it happened with Berkman. I think maybe even this week. Carlos Lee homered on Sunday. I always say hot weekend leads to good weeks. So maybe Carlos Lee is going to be hot this week. I think you buy and start Carlos Lee even amid his slump. That homer on Sunday, homers come in bunches. It can be a big week for Carlos Lee. What about Brandon Bosch? You don't want him to miss more time than he could. Right. You, you get worried about the DH situation and the part-time situation, but he is so hot right now. They're going to have him in the lineup. And then his uh, weekend series is uh, not going to affect him with the DH or what have you. Brandon Bosch is hitting his way to the major leagues and hitting his way to stay in the major leagues. They thought he was going to just be a matchup guy because he's a left-handed hitter who murders right-hand batters. There's only two lefties in their schedule this week, and he will play over the weekend even with the, the interleague play. So Brandon Bosch is a guy you can pick up. I think you could even start him despite those two lefties he's facing. All right, Gabby Sanchez by yourself. Oh, I, I like Gabby Sanchez. We had that argument a little earlier this season with Derek Barton and Gabby Sanchez, and Gabby Sanchez is a guy with hot right now, uh, won't be affected by the DH situation in the, at the Chicago White Sox. Gabby Sanchez can be in lineups and mixed leagues. I like his power potential. He's a good rookie bat. I know he doesn't have uh, 25 or 30 homer potential right now. It might be 15 or 20. But Gabby Sanchez is a pretty good hitter. He's hot right now. It could be and order. if you notice, I mean, uh, so many rookies that we're talking about. And last week, I think it was Austin Jackson for, yep. for, for the Detroit Tigers. There's so many rookies that are just so hot right now. And I think next week, we're going to maybe just key on those guys. Because I think that this week, if you just started 
all rookie class. You just went <laughs> crazy. And you just said, you know what? I'm not doing real well this year. I'm just going to start all rookies. You'd actually come out pretty good with some numbers because the yeah. rookies have dominated the first almost two months of the season. Yeah. We're going to talk about the opposite of hot. We're going to talk about not in fantasy baseball island. Brought to you by Arrestus Distrati. Oh, the yes. Oh, look, look. <laughs> it's it's, 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 it's so cute. She's so cute. Even my katu is so cute. <laughs> places, everyone. Places. Please, thank you, Shehadi. Smiles, everyone. Smiles. Welcome once again to another feature of Fantasy Baseball Island where we pick three, re uh, unfortunately, reluctant guests that fly in in that plane that Ima Katu <laughs> says, the plane, boss, the plane. And he comes in, and we have three special ones this week. Uh, like every week, they're very special because we're trying to help them. They don't want our help, but they come to the island anyway because they know they come out better. And these are three special ones. And the interesting thing about these three is that we're going international here. We have a Latino. We have a, a black and white American guy, and we have, oh, from the land, my third home, the land of the rising sun from Japan. So wait for this. The first one, the Latino, and that would be one Victor Martinez. Victor, que lo que pasa, mejito, mirate, you're hitting only 056 for the week. You're such a professional hitter from the right side, from the back side. Yeah, I think I know what the problem is, and we're going to fix it here. You do not have a nickname and you feel jealous. You feel jealous that Big Poppy, everywhere in Boston is Big Poppy this and Big Poppy that, Big Poppy. <laughs> so I decided that we're bringing three guys that are going to help you. From the three amigos. Hey, we're going to bring in Chevy Chase and Martin Short and, and none other than, uh, 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 who's the other one from that? Uh, Steve he, Martin, yeah. yes. For three amigos, we're going to give you a nickname. It's going to be El Guapo. <laughs> you are going to be El Guapo. You're going to hit again. Number two, we got... The one and only Derek Jeter. Can you believe it? Derek yeah. Jeter is here at Fantasy Baseball Island. Oh, my goodness. The, the, the epitome of consistency. He is so consistent. In fact, I remember a couple years ago, he was so muy consistente that at the same calendar year, he consistently dated Jessica Alba, Jessica Biel, <laughs> and, and uh, Scarlett Johansson consistently. He was my hero. Talk about an MVP season. That, that was definitely hands down. Forget about anybody else. But now he's here. He's struggling a little bit. So of course, he's going to stay in, in Villa Caliente. You know, she had this hot uh, place over there. That she, She's not there. Don't worry about it. She's going to still with her boyfriend in Vegas. But listen, <laughs> he we're going to bring in that America girl from uh, Ugly Betty. I don't know her name. America something. She's going to stay with you for a few days. That will make you want to get back, start hitting again very, very quickly. Because I know you and your style. And then lastly, my good Tomadachi. That means friend in Japanese. Akinori Iwagura. Oh, I digress. Wait a second. I went into my Japanese there for a second. But Akinori-san, good guy, struggling. What I was saying is that he doesn't maybe like these pirates too much in that trade. He's still kind of a little upset about getting traded. What happened? He's going, ha, he, I got traded. But we're going to fix that a little bit because maybe I'm going to send you some sushi from your favorite place in Okinubu in the Japan. You're going to eat your little sushi. He's going to be fine. He's going to start hitting again. Well, the funniest part of that, if we had subtitles, that whole Japanese spiel <laughs> would have been translation, he stinks. He stinks Bad. right now <laughs> all week. I, and we're taping the show apparently from Vegas because I am still, still in, in, Vegas. in Vegas. Well, your alter ego, Shihadi, it is with true. a B. Listen up, fantasy owners. We're answering your questions. How cool is that? So Stick around, we will be right back with Fantasy Baseball today.